Greetings everyone, time for a video. This will be a tool haul video, uh, more of a mini tool haul video really. Mr. Worker tool haul number four for me. Uh, I placed an order, I don't know, a few weeks ago and it finally came in. So here we are, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. I will talk about Mr. Worker and some of the things about them here in a bit. Um, nothing bad, some good stuff, just things to point out. So anyway, let's see what we got here. Uh, this is how I got it, UPS. International got it pretty quick, and this is what we have. So, first off, uh, we have this is a universal socket 3 8 inch drive. It is part number 880G 17, which means it's actually a 17 millimeter socket. I'm not going to talk about this now, I'm actually going to save this for a later video. I have a comparison video, I think, in another. Um, I, I mentioned I have I picked up something else. I'm going to have a comparison video with this and some other universal sockets from Stahl Villa. So I'm going to save that for later. But anyway, I picked this up. These things are pricey, and it's kind of sad that just this alone was pretty expensive. And in fact, I wouldn't have bought this if it wasn't for the fact that Mr. Worker started carrying these and their price was less than, say, some of the other places I normally would buy this at, to the point where... You know, the expense was so high at other places that it was prohibitive to even buy it. But they picked it up, and I'll talk more about that in a minute with them having hot set. Second thing I got, and also another hot set item. Uh, this is part number 757-5, which means that this is 757 and they're grip pliers. 5, which means they're roughly 1, 2, 3, 4, a little over 5 inches long. Um, but that's about what they are. Again, not really going to talk about these much. Uh, same situation as before with the socket, the price, and, and the availability because of the pandemic and the disruption just made it hard really to pick these up. But Mr. Worker got them, and they had a good price, relatively speaking. They're still expensive, they're hot set after all. So I picked them up. Got another comparison video coming. That one's going to cover a number of brands, Stahl Villa, Ghidorah, hot set, and uh, Vice Grip. So these will be coming back later. Finally... Last part, I did say this was a mini tool haul, was this uh, pair of Nipix um, Carpenter Pinchers. Uh, what they are is they're meant for if you want to like pull nails or screws, you know, things like that. Let's see the part number, which is a little hard to read there, but I have to look at it. 50225. So these, made in Germany, of course, uh, they have the plastic zip handle. You can see the, the uh, usual finish that Knipix has for the black. These are the 225, which means they're 225 millimeters long, which roughly is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about nine inches long. Uh, as you can tell, they came in this bag and wrapped up in this. There's a little oil on them. Uh, you can kind of see it there a little bit, which is anti-rust, I guess, you know, prevent corrosion and stuff. Uh, perhaps lubrication. They move pretty well, feel pretty good in the hand. Um, let's see, let me pull out the scale here so we can give them a quick weigh-in. And I'll let you know how much they weigh. All right, we're in grams. So let's see here. And if we put them on there, 460 grams. That roughly ends up being about a pound. Not too bad. Now, normally, when I, these are meant for, like I said before, picking out nails. So, like, let's say you have a board. Grab a piece of wood here real quick. And you have to assume you have a nail. You'll come in, pick, and try to pinch and pull it out. Or perhaps, though I'm not really sure they're meant for this, nipple off the end of the nail. They do offer a different style of these, which has a flat head on either end and it's a little bulkier on this uh, on these parts and that's really meant for um, it's kind of an extra feature so that if you nip a nail off or maybe break it off or something you can use it to hammer it in these don't have that I kind of thought to myself and I did some reading about this and some people I didn't really find much about this but a couple people said they thought it was kind of a superfluous or unneeded feature but I and so I skipped it I don't really see the point, but it's okay. I think this will work for me. Uh, I usually try to do leverage, and if I want to beat something down, 
I'll grab something really meant for it, you know, aka a hammer, because I find it kind of weird that I would use this to tap something in. I don't know, it just doesn't seem to sit right with me. Now normally, I wouldn't need these because I use something else. I use, mostly I use uh, these channel lock pliers. Um, these are Craftsman, I've had these forever. They come with, if you buy any of the big sets, or you can pick these up with the plier sets of three pieces, you can pick these up. Normally what happens is if I have, oh, again, I'll pull this piece of wood back in. If I have something, I'll come in and I'll grab, say, you know, like this, and then I'll start rocking and try to pull it out. Um, and I might do that with like, say, screws or something along those lines. In this case, I said, you know, these things weren't expensive. I think I paid about 18 bucks for them. They're not real pricey and they seem to be well liked. I, I picked a length that's roughly similar to these channel locks. Let me zoom out just a little bit for you so you can see them a little better. So I think that might be a little better. It gave me pretty good leverage, about the same as what I would expect from them. And then perhaps I can rock and pull out. If not, I can always try to nip them. The other possibility you can use if you're going to have this, you can use nippers. But these are really meant more to cut. You know, that's kind of the purpose of them. I mean, that's why they're called in nippers, honestly. But, and I don't really use these much for that. If I'm trying to pull out things like nails or in my case it's more like say deck screws or wood screws like i said i'll use these but i'm gonna give these a shot see what they're like they don't really i don't really see anything bad about them in terms of you know they feel good in the hand they don't really have much weight like they're about a pound but so they're not really a problem and since they're pretty good length uh, they should have pretty good leverage now they have a variety of sizes i can't remember off the top of my head i'll put a link in the description below to the page on mr worker so you can see kind of what they have uh, but they have links pretty short, I think 150 millimeters, but don't quote me on that, all the way up to I think 250 or maybe 275. So if you need bigger ones, you can certainly get them. And then of course they have that other style. Of some interest, they have these kind of sharp edges. It's kind of unusual. I haven't really seen that before. I'm not really sure why they would do that, but they may have some reason for it. Not, not really clear. Um, apart from that, I haven't really tried them yet. So we'll see how it goes. And if there's something earth shattering about them, like they're really good or they really suck, then I'll, I'll do a follow-up video about that. Now, real quick, I wanna talk about Mr. Worker. Um, I, I know some people have had problems with them in the past, but I think most people from what I've read, even in some of my the few comments I've had, they've had some issues, but they've eventually ended up getting their items. I've never really had any trouble. In fact, I'd say over time, they've actually improved um, for from my perspective. Like this last time when I placed my order, they actually said, we're going to ship your order within six to eight days or six to eight business days. It rolled up about seven business days and I hadn't got a shipment notification yet. And then I think like when it hit eight days or perhaps nine days after I placed my order, I actually received an email from them saying, hey, sorry, we're going to be delayed about three days. Uh, but we anticipate shipping your order in the next three days. Sure enough, two days after that, I did get a shipment notification and I got my package in about four days. Uh, so that's coming from Italy, coming here, didn't have any trouble. Packaging probably could have been a little better, but again, I'm not complaining. I got my stuff. It's all in one piece. There's no scratches or damage. And that makes me pretty pleased. Now, this will actually be my fifth order I've got from them. And then no sponsorship or anything like that. I just go to their site, order stuff, pay for it, and they ship it to me. It may take a bit, and then I get it, and it's exactly what I want. And I paid, usually pay less money than what I can find in other places, and it's the same stuff as always. So I've been really pleased with them. Uh, part of the reason why this order even happened was because they added, they've added a few brands. Uh, most of them I don't really care about. Um, it, like and it's not to to slight any of the brands it's just something that just doesn't interest me they have i think it's matrica or maybe metrica i'm not sure how to pronounce it they sell measuring tools they also have uh, teza t-e-s-a i think that's how it's pronounced and they also i think sell measuring tools they've also added hotsit which is one of the big ones you know they've had stall villa for a while and i've picked up a number of stall villa items from them and been very pleased with their prices and of course you know what i've received uh, and then they added Hotsit, and their prices are pretty good. These things are less than what I would pay for in America by probably around 40% cheaper. So I'm, I'm happy with that. And it looks like they have most of their catalog. Hotsit does have a large catalog of items, you know, covering a bunch of different areas. So it's 
pretty nice to see yet another dealer that's selling them and at pretty competitive prices honestly uh, they also added Nipix some time ago, and then the last thing I've noticed recently they added was Festool, which I have a number of Festools I've had over the years. I've done, I think, one video, well, actually a couple videos about Festool items. Uh, I would not advise buying things from them. Even, a few reasons. One, of course, they're in Europe, and Festool, if you know anything about their dealership, their, their dealer programs and how they manage the dealers, they're very particular about dealers selling on a territory. I don't expect that Mr. Worker, I don't know, maybe they would, sell to people out of Europe, but I wouldn't bet on it. And then of course the other thing is, is their market is, their, their items from Festool are going to be meant for the EU. So you're going to get EU plugs, you're going to get, if you can even buy it, you're going to get EU prices. And sometimes they're fine, but I was doing comparisons between common items um, from US dealers and then Mr. Worker and they Mr. Worker was actually higher, so I don't recommend buying anything from them. That said, they do have some accessories. Looks like they have more accessories, actually, than what you can see in America, which is often a common theme with Festool, sadly. There's things they just don't sell in America for whatever reason. Uh, in Europe and other markets usually pick it up and, and have those things. So it's worth taking a look just to see if you're interested, if you like Festool stuff. Uh, Mr. Worker now sells it, so it's just something to take a look at. But if you want to go and see other things, they have Hotsit and others. And again, this isn't a sponsorship. I'm just saying this of my own. I've had good fortune with them. Um, they've shipped me everything I've ordered, even though sometimes it took a bit. But I did get it all. So anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, just a kind of a short tool haul. Just remember, these two are going to come back in separate videos. And that's about it. And as always, thanks for watching.